wayward spirits roam these dark and misty nights. Lost and restless, seeking respite from their ceaseless wandering this All Hallows Eve. Will they knock at your door? Will they trick you to play? Do you merely offer sweets to keep them at bay? Today, I'm going to carve turnips into frightful jack-o'-lantern faces to scare off the evil spirits from my home this Halloween. Using my knife, I slice off the top. I whittle and scoop away the white flesh. It's pretty easy to carve a young turnip. Old ones get tough and woody inside. Once I've hollowed out the turnip, I use the tip of my knife to gouge out eyes and a crooked mouth. Turnips were traditionally used as jack-o'-lanterns because they grow easily and plentifully in the cool, rainy weather of Ireland where this Celtic Halloween tradition originated. Young turnips taste sweet and tender raw, and the flesh can be cooked and mashed to make a delicious dish if desired. In colonial America, pumpkins grew prolifically throughout the summer and ripened in the autumn, making them the choice jack-o'-lantern vegetable of early Irish settlers. However, I have more turnips to spare than pumpkins this year, so I'm carving turnip jack-o'-lanterns. Make them scary enough to frighten away any intruding ghosts. Sit them in a window or doorway to guard your home Halloween night.
Beware of the faces that glitter against the dark. Beware of the masked ones, for what do they hide? What is it that they seek on this dark and misty night? We wayward ones know many tricks, yet lest I lose all I am, I shall guard my face. I shall guard my home with these hollowed out eyes and scowls of glow. As I fly off to dance with old Jack this Halloween, what tricks can he teach me? What stories can he tell? What song shall we sing with the tolling midnight bell? We lost one's dance in the flickering jack-o'-lantern light.